in this series, I'm going to show you how you can possess the Power 4 with Adobe After Effects. So in the last episode, we showed how to create the Lightning Body Strike effects. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create great sound design for your 4 After Effect. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so now we're back in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's do some sound design. Here I've got some sound effects that I've collected over the years. Um, let's see what sounds good because with a Thor, when he's grabbing the hammer, there's usually this kind of like sound. And obviously I don't want to take the sound for copyright reasons. So I'm just going to see sounds that kind of sound similar or have a same kind of ring to it. So first off, I'm going to see if I can see some swooshes. So go to my swooshes. Let's have a listen to this. It's got kind of interesting reverb that sounds a little bit like Thor's kind of real sound. So let's just see how that looks on the timeline. With a lot of these, you just got to try them out and see how it looks with the scene. So as I catch it here, we'll have move a bit further. So maybe we can have that as a layer of sound. Sounds okay to me. That layer kind of sounds a little bit like thunder. It's got a thunder ring to it. So maybe we'll add some of that bit earlier, around about here. And then we have some thunder. I'm more of the sound to kind of reverb a little bit. So I'm just going to cut off bits of the end. If you hold option and then move it down by dragging this down, it duplicates the layer. So we'll just duplicate that last layer and have it overlap a little bit. What we can do, go a bit deeper, grab the pen tool, a little bit here. So it just adds a little bit of extra echo to that thunder, you know? Now we want the electronic sparks to see if we've got anything that can kind of sound good with that. Oh, we've got the whooshes. So that's got that kind of deep bass sound to it. Let's see how that sounds. What you can do is grab this. Chop it in half. Speed. Reverse the speed. See, just by messing up with the speed of that track, reversing the speed, it kind of gave it that kind of sound that you get from Thor's hammer. Like, not it's not perfect, but at least it gives it that kind of sound that you usually get from Thor's hammer. Maybe give it a bit of a prolonged, like, after sound, so. A little bit here. A little bit of constant power. 
give this one a bit of a constant power as well. Maybe a little bit more of that before I actually do the catch there. See if that adds anything to it. I actually like the build up for that. And what we can do is just add some more of this. Let's do layers of it. That's not quite working. Maybe if I try something like this, this might work. I'm not sure yet. This might add a little bit of something else. So this lens sound adds a little bit of metallic sound to it. I think that's what it was missing there a little bit. But just work on the timing. Okay. A little bit more atmosphere in the actual track it itself. Okay, let's have one more listen. Okay, kind of like that. So a little bit of sound design goes a long way. It adds a level of depth to your production. So it makes your video kind of elevate. It makes the audience feel like they're there, you know. So you're getting the sound of the hammer being summoned. You're getting the clash of the lightning and thunder once I catch the you know the hammer so it kind of gives you that feel of the power of Thor a little bit more so those little layers of audio really help so it's definitely worth taking some time remember audio is half of the battle so it's definitely worth taking some time with the audio design because audio is half of the viewing experience so the viewer has to feel what you're doing as well so it does actually just add a little bit of you know, production value to your videos. So definitely keep that in mind with your edits, like just to add a bit of sound design, uh, just to give it that bit of elevation. There's a little bit of popping going on. So I'm trying to add some constant powers just to see if I can get rid of some of that popping. I'm not sure if it's just because there's too many layers. Okay, so that's a little bit better. See what we have now. Okay, it sounds good to me. Right. So now what we need to do, now we've got the audio done, let's do a teeny bit of color correction and color grading. Now if you can see here, before we do that, look how many layers of audio we have. We have 12 layers of audio, okay? So it goes to show, like, you never be afraid to like get in there and do like some audio editing. So 12, as you can see, there's 12 layers there and 12 different layers of audio. So it does definitely always work out to just have a little bit of time spending on the sound design just to like make your visuals come to life. 
I love this stuff. I, I, I absolutely love this stuff. I love sound design. It's just so exciting to do. I just love it, man. It just adds so much to your, to your visuals, you know, to your video. Check out the next video in the series where I show you how you can apply a color grade and color correction to your thought after effect in Adobe Premiere Pro or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Till next time, this has been Aston Regis helping you tell your story through video. Peace.